Right, as you know, if you've painted women before, and we're not one for showing off and that, right? But today's lesson is going to be brilliant, right? What I thought I'd do, see how this curls over here, there, to me, because this bit, my reference photo, I haven't even got this path in, so this is made up, but to me, that my light's coming in this way, so down this side here, as you can see here, look, this bit's darker than this top bit where the sun's hitting it. Sun's hitting it there, it's hitting it across there, down there, slightly darker where, not so much in shade, but slightly more in shade. So as that comes over there, that's going to be darker. So I'm thinking, bring that darker over there, have a little bit of shade coming across there into that path like this bit here, look. But then I'm going to do some counter change. So I'm then going to, so I'm going to have dark coming across there, fading out. And then on this side here, I'm going to do what's called counter change. And I'm going to have dark coming that way and fading out there. I think I'm going to have some dark behind here. So the sun, so I'm going to paint these blades of grass in here by doing negative painting. So I'm going to paint around the blades of grass to paint the blades of grass. And then I think I'm going to do it back into counter change there. And then, so I've got lighter blades of grass there than these darker blades that's already here. Might even come in and put some more darker, some more negative painting in there again, I might do. Sort of already done that a bit, but might do a bit of that as well. So, we've got counter change and negative painting. So it's gonna be an interesting one. Right, so, I'll crack straight on. I think what I'll do first is I think I'll just dampen that bit there like that just for now right get some uh, dark green on my brush and just come in there and just a couple of blades of grass like that let's um i think i'm going to try and lighten that a bit that might be a little bit too dark maybe it's Come in there like that, I'll say. Maybe there's a couple of bits across, something like that. See that how it's gradually getting lighter and fading across? That's what we want. That's not bad at that. There. Right, now. Um, wash that brush out. Right. Now, I'm coming in. I'm going to dampen this now. So I'm going to come in here. Oh, water on my brush. I'm going to come in here. Nah, with some purple. So let's use this brush. This purple colour. All I've used for this purple is light red and ultramarine blue. But I've lent more on the light red than the blue. Slightly more ready than bluey. I can touch that into there. I want soft edge there anyway. So that's my dark edge there. And then got my old softening brush. I'm just soften that. That out across there. Niceness and that. I am thinking that uh, I need a darker. I need that a bit darker than that on this on the bar there. This bit a bit darker. There a bit as well. Let's mix some of that into that green. Into that darker green. Let's lighten that green up a bit. There. Let's brush off. Soften some of that in. Brush off. Soften this. There. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to dry all that there. Just want that dry, I don't want. It's just safer. If I dry, it's safer. I think that'll be dry enough. 
I'm not worried so much down here, it's mainly this bit here what I need dry because that's where I'm going to be coming back in. Right, so now I need the purple colour again. Like I say, purple, it's just light red and blue, but it's leaning towards a reddy purple rather than a bluey purple. So I think the paint's a bit thin, I've just mixed my paint a bit thicker. Well, let's have a look at this then. So, starting stronger on this side. Coming lighter to the other side. If you think about it, really, there's probably no reason why there'd be a dark bit in there, but just know it's going to work and look good. So just take advantage on it and use it. You know what I mean? We've got to have some bits of texture in this path anyway, some bits of darkness in there to make it because it looks a bit too distant at the minute anyway so I may as well use it to my advantage and do it like this see I've left a little bit of texture in there so that's that that looks okay uh, yeah I'll attempt it to dry but I don't think I will I think I'll be alright so let's come in uh, then with some dark green into here See that? Do you see what I mean? I'm painting with my blades of grass now. By using negative paint. That's called negative painting. So we paint behind. Painting behind to paint the grass, what's in front. That's going to want softening. Yeah. Niceness, I think. Let's do a bit more, let's come across here like this, cross into there, into there, and that's it, build some of that up, take some of that out across there, that's nice, I like that, there, soften that in, niceness, I like that, then I'll tell you what, I'm going to build this bit up a bit more here now, so we've counter changed again. So I've gone light into the dark. Just pop a few extra blades of grass in there, look. Something about like that. Soften in again. Soften that in. even better having a soft edge have a few more blades there look like that that's nice doesn't it I'm gonna try and soften that I'll soften that down there like that that should work quite nice bring that into there rinse my brush again soften in even more there that's nice so I've got me dark against light yeah, light against the dark, light against the dark, going into dark against the light again, and then I'm going to come in here and do some more dark against light or whatever way around you say it. Um, let's get this smaller brush actually. Do some more bits in here.
Uh, I think. I think that might do. Let's just. I think let's soften that in a bit more there. And that there. Let's leave that little streak in middle there. Um, it looks like maybe I could soften in a tiny bit more there, just a little bit softer. Oh, yes. Ah, look at that. I'm really, really happy with that. Really happy. Um, you know what? I'm going to leave that that for today. I'll dry that off with air dryer. No point filming drying it. But yeah, can you see that, the effect that's had? Don't that look nice? That's so. That's just a little lesson in counter change for you. So I'm quite proud of me sent today for that. Right, I'll see you on the beach. In it.